All right, captains, we're back. I went down here to the Holliver Inlet to see if I could find me some good boats. Instead, I found this berthing place of those multi-million dollar boats that come out here and get their asses beat in the inlet. Now, I wish I would have made some better financial decisions in my life, but I'm living free as a bird, like that guy right there. This crane operator here got bigger balls than I do. He's got that thing dangling from two forks up there. That's more money than I'm gonna have in my lifetime if you don't like and subscribe. Well, he's gonna put that one back there in the berthing center, and we're gonna move on to the next video here. Now, let's take a look at this fountain here. I don't know if that's the deckhand or the owner there. It's kind of hard to tell. But I'll tell you what, nobody rides for free. It's either ass, gas, or you wipe down the boat. But damn, that thing's got four motors on the back of it. I'm a little jealous, don't worry. I think we've all seen this meme before. It holds true more than ever in South Florida. Now these guys right here, these are the ones that go by shooting up at Rooster Tail. And this kind of boat make it from here to Bahamas in about 11 minutes. All right, let's get to the action. Well, we've seen those two boats earlier here. And this chaparral right here is about to try and thread a needle here between that fountain and this other boat on the right over here. Just the motors alone is worth more than my life insurance policy. And this is not a good place to be learning how to dock a boat. You want to go out somewhere and pretend there's a dock there and come up to it. That way you don't scuff the boat up. And he's got his bumpers, all three of them out there on the side. And he ain't even going to use them. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. He's got a headwind. It's coming from the right in this video here. Now I promise you, this boat's not disabled. And like I said, that headwind's pushing him over there towards that fountain, he's getting awfully close to it. Wife decides she needs to throw that line back in the boat there. Alright, credit card captains, if you're out there new and you're trying to figure this out, get the bow line. The bow line's the one in the front. That way you can pull the boat around from the front. It makes it a little bit easier. I sent you a GPS link to it, but it's uh, it's like Holliver Park, I think it is. Holliver Biscayne Bay or something like that. Now, it's always my favorite to see the stand-up paddle boards get wrecked by waves, but I didn't expect it to happen here. This guy's a little uneasy on his feet here. It's like his first time out on here. Nonetheless, he's getting those echoes off that boat there and just getting whopped around. Well, there he goes. Almost. Oh, 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 no, he didn't make, he saved it. I can tell you this right now. I ain't no better on one of them. I'm like a draft just being born on them things. Feet are all wobbly. I get shaky. I about fall off of them every time. I tried it once and that was enough for me. I bought me a kayak with like wings on it so that it don't flip anywhere. It looks like one of them Hawaiian boats. Now this captain comes scooting in here real quick, gets it on the boat and lands it nice and easy. Just like that. Now that's the way you should do it. Well, old Leroy is about to get his boat back on the trailer here. 
Now, I don't know if he's been drinking or not, or what's going on in this video, but this is a little bit too fast for my liking. The faster you go, generally, the harder you hit. And here we go. Oh, Leroy sets up for the docking here, and oh, there ain't no trailer there. Man, that sounds good. That's the sound of new gel coat, skeg, new prop, and about everything else you can think of right there. Probably a new boat. I do have to say I'm impressed. That might be a world record from the waterline up to the parking lot there. All right, check this one out. This is kind of cool. This is an old Willie's Jeep pulling this Jersey girl here. Now, I always worry about size matter, and every time I ask my wife, she says, size doesn't matter, honey. Well, this one's pretty cool here. He backs it in, has no problem pulling it out either, and that's why I got two kids. Well, back over here at the boat ramp, they always got some weird vehicles that are putting boats in. And this one specifically here, I guess it ain't too bad. I learned that there's a website that you can register pretty much anything to make it street legal. Oh, good God, look at the back of that boat. Where did that guy have that boat at? I don't know, maybe it's me, but I like taking care of my stuff. Anyway, let's get onto a dirty boat tour. Well, this one starts off right. Nice pair of cut Daisy Dukes right there. Like I said in the beginning, nobody rides for free. Gotta wipe down the boat. It's got his tackle box, his bucket, even a trash can. I don't think that trash can's ever been used. I spin around the other side, do a nice little panoramic view of this right here. You can see this whole boat in its entirety. Nice and pretty. And look at that. He even forgot to put in the screw all the way. Well, one screw will do. I don't care. It holds. It's always interesting what you find in these boats. Old rags. Right there, a little dog leash. Unopened Coke can. And there you go. Kill switch lanyard ain't ever been used. I like it. Oh, look at that. A bleach bottle. <laughs> this thing needs a little bit more help than bleach. Well, I think that's it for this boat. They're going to sail off into the sunset there and enjoy a nice river cruise at the end of the night. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit jealous. Well, I think that's going to be it. I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell button there. And on the next video here, we got some good videos. As the weather starts warming up, content's going to get good. If you want to submit a video, send it in to creditcardcaptain at gmail.com. And remember, golden rule. If you got to take the motor cover off at the ramp, it ain't good to go out.